it's Piotr here and today I am taking you to few great passes like Passo Penserioch, Passo Giovo and Passo del Rombo. But we're gonna ride really high to see Solden Glacier too. This day started very early for us, much earlier than normally I would say, and I tried to record something for you at morning, but I was in such morning zombie mode that I gave up. It's, uh, it's around 7 pm. AM. It's morning 7 am. Yep, better forget about it. We even did the washing a day before, but our clothes were still kinda wet. So first hour of riding was a bit chilly. Weather forecast showed us that later that day it should rain a lot at our destination. And that's the reason why we were up so early. We had a little bit of rain right after getting out of Pietralba when we slept, but when we got to our first stop, Bolzano city, the sun showed its face and from now on we rode in perfect riding conditions. We even had to take out all of our warming layers that we put on us before. Bolzano appeared to be a very beautiful city. We could see just a glimpse of it while riding through, but definitely we need to come back here again to take a better look. And from Bolzano up to the border with Austria, we had really wonderful time to admire great roads and stunning nature. for today. We are on our way to Jaufen Pass and then to Austria. So from this time it's gonna be better and better with each kilometer. So perfect and we have very nice weather. It's not so warm and we have still like 220 kilometers left, not 2000. There is a viewpoint where we can have almost 360 uh, panoramic view and it's there, almost on the peak, there is uh, even a bench. Oh. Great views. This pass, Passo Pennes, was a great start of the day. We could feel kinda like in Norway. Great open spaces with mountains far, far away from us. Nothing was so close that it blocked our view. I think on every journey there are better and worse days. Sometimes everything goes great and roads or views are much better than expected. We had it like this at that day. With that feeling we drove down from this pass and soon we started to climb up again on another mentioned before Jaufen Pass or in Italian Passo Giovo. We are already in Jaufen Pass. Most of this road is riding in the forest, a very very curvy road and with pretty bad uh, road condition, like asphalt is very bumpy and with many holes, so be careful. There is on uh, like two more passes here to the left for us and we are in Austria. So, and then we are going up on the glaciers.
this is not the top of this pass, but it's already mind blowing. Uh, we can see the glacier there and the valley that we came from. Actually, we were there not so long time ago. There are also mountains, and when you're riding here, you can see you can say that oh, this, those mountain mountains are not so high, but we are riding up and up and up, and we are already almost over 2,000 meters above the sea level and those mountains are still the same above us as they were before, so it's wow. Timelsjoch or Paso del Rombo was the most spectacular pass on this day and I would place it in the top 5 of the whole trip. I had a very few chances in my life to ride so high in such great circumstances around me. What an experience! The landscape here is extraordinary, the view range is awesome and you could see yourself how close to the edge that road goes. All that gives this amazing feeling of something very special. And we saw the sign that uh, this museum that we want to visit, it's like eight clicks and uh, kilometers from here. So we are not staying here for long and we are going there and then we want to eat and see the museum and everything. So eight kilometers left to our eating point. perfect motorcycle for me. This is it. <laughs> With alcohol? <laughs> With wine. <laughs> we need to eat something, then maybe we'll see the motorcycle museum, because it's there also, but we don't know if we're gonna make it before it starts to rain. Why are you putting this on, Alexandra? Because it's gonna be rain! Huge rain! Yep. At last rain, isn't it? Yeah, so we have to uh, put it on and we have one hour to our accommodation point, which is pretty unusual today, because it's not apartment, it's not hotel, it's not... Uh, yes, it's something strange, you're gonna see. changed our plans and finally we are here on this glacier I don't remember the name but we got the sticker and this road cost 1250 so this is the price for you to get there if, is it worth it we we'll let you know but the views already are nice 
and all those bad clouds with rain weather are gone so we should have nice circumstances to view everything around us Now we know, and you know, that this road is worth those 12.50 euros. <laughs> there is only one road, but there is a possibility to go around there. There is a tunnel that goes straight across this mountain, and we are going there also. We did it! We are on the end of that road and I think until now it's the highest point that we have ever been in my life. 2700 meters I think. And it looks like there is a trail, downhill trail and it goes right there. I think that this is crazy and big respect to all of you guys that are doing this because I don't have bows <laughs> like you do. <laughs> now this is really the end. So from now on only camping, only our place for night. I promise. <laughs> Okay, we are on our camping, yeah, this time is a camping and I said that today our accommodation is pretty unusual and it's because we, there are four pers person, there are one big bed and two small and whole room has 12, 12 square meters and it looks like this. <laughs> so we have to be very cautious to not hit anything. There is one bed, another bed and there is one big bed for me and Alexandra and that's all and it's pretty warm inside so we are keeping us outside so I have already washed myself and now I'm preparing some food yeah I'm the only one yes and now I'm preparing the food then the dinner for us we are having some beer and wine <laughs> because today we have ridden like 280 km kilometers on very nice roads. This was the most beautiful day on this trip. So no, which one was better? The second one. The when second we, one. When we just get into Italy and ah, we have this yes. Strada del Vete. Okay, so Strada del Vete is best and de this day is second. Yes. Let's prepare some food. <laughs> <laughs> 